Any number of adjectives can be used to describe Josh Richards' 2016 season with the World of Outlaws. Record-setting, monumental, incredible, insane, you name it, they all work. But one makes more sense than any other, quite simply, domination. Your 2016 USA Nationals champion Josh Richardson won. For the eighth time this season, Josh Richards the victory lane. 62nd time in his World of Outlaws career, Josh Richards the victory lane. Coming into the World Finals, Josh tied the all-time series record with 17 tour wins in a season, took the point lead by the Horns in Florida, and never looked back. On the way to his record-breaking fourth World of Outlaws championship. We got to like six or seven. Like, man, this, you know, we've had a phenomenal year, and it's just it's crazy to think we've had 10 since then. Great might be an understatement. Josh rewrote the record books with victories at, and get ready for this long list, Volusia twice, a sweep of Farmer City's Illini 100 weekend in early April, Carolina Speedway, a home state victory at Tyler County on Memorial Day weekend, Weedsport, New York, a Firecracker 100 prelim, back-to-back -back Wild West Tour victories in Minnesota, first at Deer Creek and then four nights later at Ogilvy. Not only winning the Friday night falls draw at Fairbury American Legion Speedway, but Saturday night's $27,000 to win Prairie Dirt Classic. Oh, this, this means everything, you know, to come to, to you know, Farmer City was a, a huge uh, thing to mark, mark off the bucket list and to come here, you know, I was not expecting this at all. and. And uh, to run to run well against all these good cars, I mean, everybody's so good, especially the locals. I mean, those guys were, uh, the, you know, that Chandler guy, I didn't even know who he was. Um, and the heat race was, uh, you know, he just he just putted right around the bottom and drove <laughs> drove away from us in the heat race. I'm like, these guys really know this racetrack, and then they know when to move around and when to change it. So it's uh, it makes it extra tough, but it makes it, you know, it's fun to uh, fun when you whenever you can win it. But the crown jewel momentum was not done there. Less than a week later, he swept the entire USA National Weekend at Cedar Lake to the tune of $56,000, meaning in one week, he captured 88 grand in four races. I mean, last year, it's like we never thought we'd ever win again, and, and it's just how racing works. You just got to keep working at it, and and uh, just goes in, when it goes in waves, you see everybody get on waves, and and I hope that we can keep this one going for a while. The beat continued the very next week, winning three of four on the Eastern Swing at Delaware, Potomac, and Erie's before closing out the month of August with another victory at Merritt Speedway in Michigan. For good measure, he added a prelim win on Labor Day weekend at Lernerville. And coming into the World Finals had produced numbers that the tour had never seen. In 37 starts, he ran inside the top five 30 times, a staggering 81% clip. And he was inside the top 10 35 times, won 27 heat races, and amassed over $315,000 in regular season winnings, plus the huge $100,000 championship check he receives tonight, giving him a spectacular average of $11,000 per race on the 2016 tour. He was consistent. He was dominant, and once again, he's a champion. Ladies and gentlemen, for the fourth time in his career, give a round of applause for Josh Richards, your Craftsman World of Outlaws Late Model Series champion.